those that are anarchists. There are those who say, well, it's time to fight. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. This is the time to try to find some unity. This is the time to try to find strange bedfellows. And you can find them in the strangest of places. Had uh, lunch with, um, uh, what's his name, on Friday? Mark Cuban. Cuban. Mark Cuban. Had lunch with Mark Cuban on, um, on Friday. Spent two hours with him. One of the first things he said to me was, you and I disagree on an awful lot, especially where the president is concerned. And I said, oh, I, I thought you were a libertarian. He said, I am. And then he talked to me about... What? Yeah, then he started uh, talking no. to me about um, how he's for <laughs> universal health care, and uh, he's been to the White House several times and talked to the president. And He self-identified as a libertarian, really? Yeah. Hmm. yeah he said, I don't think that word means what he thinks it means. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. <laughs> so. I mean, but, he's, but, but with all of that being said, he's very well thought out on all of these things. Except being a li- libertarian. Yeah. yeah. He's very well thought out on these things. Um, I disagree with him on almost everything that he said. But when he got to the NSA, I mean, it was such a bizarre meeting. And he's going to come on for an hour and, and, and have a one-on-one with me. That's great. But um, it was such a bizarre meeting because I really was thrown. I really had heard that he was much more of a small mm-hmm. government guy. He's not. Um, but uh, when it came to the NSA, I said, so you got to be you got to be for, you, I mean, uh, you're, you're for the NSA spying then. He said, oh, my gosh, absolutely not. This must be where he th- deems himself libertarian. He is not for it. He doesn't think that we can stop the NSA. And I pointed out, well, of course, you really can't if you're growing the size of government. <laughs> right. um, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't see it that way. But he is a guy who you could stand with on surveillance. I don't think you could stand with him on anything else, but you could on surveillance. And he'll be strong on surveillance. He'll, he's also very strong on business. Now, he's also for universal health care. He is for, quote, a one, a single-payer system. Jeez. Wow. That's a just mind-boggling. A fascinating yeah. interview to have mind-boggling. As a guy, I would love to see this hour because, I mean, here's a guy who obviously is pro-business. And, you know, yeah. it does oh, seem... He may, again, you... he's very well thought out. I think he's wrong, but yeah. he's very well thought out. He was for the $15 wage in Seattle. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, Dude, I can't yeah. believe that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really amazing. Really amazing. And, he's, he's, and he is, I have him heard him be very good on issues like the First Amendment, and as you point out, the spying thing it makes a lot of sense. And right. He certainly seems to be good on uh, the but, technology issues of okay, the so, day. So the point is, though, that we could just be against Mark Cuban, and I could just come on here and I could trash him. Or I could say, Mark Cuban is a friend with the NSA. We have to part ways elsewhere, but he's a friend here. Yeah. Let's start making friends. Let's start looking for strange bedfellows that we can unite with. We've got to stop the division.